Welcome back to Math Wizard Tutor. Today's video is about solving quadratic equations using quadratic formula. Our objectives are 1. To identify the values of A, B, and C in a quadratic equation. 2. To solve the quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. It is important to recall the skill on writing the quadratic equation into standard form. And I have here a few examples. The first thing is we are going to make sure that our equation is in standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. We have x squared minus 5y minus 8 is equal to 0. So our a for number 1, our a is denoted by our numerical coefficient on the quadratic term. So that is 2. Our b is denoted by the constant term in our linear, linear term. This is our b, negative 5. Our c, our constant, is negative. That's for number 1. So number 2, our a value is here. That is 1. Our b value is positive 6. Our c value is minus 3. 1 or negative 1. For number 3, 10 x squared minus x minus 3 equals 0. A value is 10. B is negative 1. And our C is negative 3. So it's very important for you to recall how to find the values of A, B, and C in the given quadratic equation before proceeding to the quadratic formula. Let's jump in into examples on how to solve quadratic equations using quadratic formula. Use the quadratic formula to solve the following quadratic equations. x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. Our quadratic formula is noted by x equals negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So the first thing is look for your a, b, and c values. So in x squared, your a is 1. Our b and 2x is 2. Our c is negative 15. So we will use the formula then to substitute our a, b, and c in the formula. So I have provided here a few uh, empty spaces for our answers. B is 2. Just write down 2. Then our square root of B squared that is still 2 squared minus 4A. Our A is 1. Then our C is negative 15. Next, our denominator is 2a, that is 2 times 1. So the first step for our quadratic equation is by substitution. We need to substitute the values of a, b, and c in the formula. After substitution, we need to process. Simplify negative times 2 is negative 2. Then you have 2 squared is 4. Then you have negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 15 is positive. 60. So you have plus 60. And in our denominator, you have 2 times 1. That is simply 2. So we just bring down x is equal to negative 2 plus minus. The square root of 60 plus 4 is 64. All over 2. So bring down x again equals negative 2 plus minus the square root of 64 is 8 all over 2. Now this is your final equation. x is equal to negative 2 plus minus 8 over 2. So to get x sub 1, we have negative 2. We will use the positive 8 first, plus 8 over 2. Negative 2 plus 8, that is 6, over 2. It means your x sub 1 is, so 6 divided by 2 is 3. 
your x sub 1 is equal to 3. Next, for x sub 2, that is x sub 2 is equal to, we will use the negative 8. So that is negative 2 minus 8 all over 2. That gives you negative 10 over 2. That is equal to negative 5. So you have two values. Your x sub 1 is 3. Your x sub 2 is negative 5. I hope you can follow this example. Example number 2, 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Again, we are going to identify our a, b, and c. Our a is the coefficient of x squared, that is 3. Our b is negative 2. And our c is negative 1. So the first thing to do is to find out your a, b, and c after that substitute in the formula. So your formula is still the same. So just substitute the value of b in your equation formula. So you put the value of b in the bracket that is negative 2. And you are going to put your b squared that is negative 2 squared. Then for ac where our a is 3, then our c is negative 1. Then in your denominator, you have 2a. It means 2 times a, our a is 3. All right, after substitution, you need to simplify your signs. You simplify your 4ac and the b squared. Let's start from the negative b, which is negative times negative 2, and that will become... So this one must be positive 2 plus minus the square of negative 2 is 4. Then you have negative 4 times 3, that is negative 12. Negative 12 times negative 1, that is positive 12. Then your denominator 2 times 3, that is 6. So you can now simplify x is equal to 2 plus minus the square root of 4 plus 12 is 16 all over 6. Then you simplify the square root of 16 is 4. So x is equal to 2 plus minus 4 over 6. So this is now your final equation. Next thing to do is to find out your x sub 1 and x sub 2. Just take the last equation using x sub 1. For example, we use the x sub 1. I'll use the positive 4 first. So you have x sub 1 is equal to 2 plus 4 over 6. So that gives you 6. 4 plus 2 is 6 over 6. Therefore, x sub 1 is, is equal to 1. So for the x sub 2, we have uh, 2 and use the opposite of positive 4. So minus 4. All over 6, that gives you negative 2 over 6 equals negative 1 over 3. So you have two values now. Your x sub 1 is 1. Your x sub 2 is negative 1 third. Simple as that. For your activity, I would like to give you a few items. Instruction, solve the following quadratic equations using quadratic formula. So 1, x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. 2, x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. 3, 4x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0. Please take your time to answer the following in your paper, or you may drop your answers in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Thank you.